cheers to the holiday season, uh, you can avoid a wine faux pas with some help from a local expert. Sommelier Mary Horn from the Cincinnati International Wine Festival joins us this morning with some holiday wine pairing tips because it can be difficult at times, I know, to figure out uh, what type of wine goes with what. I mean, do you pair a white with the fish or a meat or a red, you know, there's a lot to think about when it comes to pairing these with meals. So let's begin by, uh, where, where do you want to begin, I should say? Reds, whites, do they go with specific meats or can you just do whatever you want? It is, well, you can do whatever you want. I always suggest bring wine that you like to drink. Yeah, that's <laughs> a great point. Uh, and you can, in, in hopes when you're bringing it someplace that you actually get to enjoy it. But if you want, if you're doing beef for your holiday dinners, Cabernet Sauvignon is a good choice. Uh, like this Kith and Kin Cabernet uh, is delicious from Napa Valley. Lovely stuff. If you're doing turkey or anything lighter, you might enjoy a nice Chardonnay. Um, and there's all sorts of things. If you want to be invited back, bring champagne. <laughs> uh, some, a bottle of Laurent Perrier always goes well, and I guarantee you'll be invited back to any party that you go to. But I think fundamentally what's most important is to bring what you like and what you want to share because the holidays are for that good time. Ham, if you do, a lot of people do ham yeah. with the holidays, and Pinot Noir goes really well with, uh, with ham and all the coutrement that go with it. And I'm going to just keep going back yeah. to Chardonnay and Cabernet because I think those are the most crowd-pleasing and most people find something they really like with those. Now, what about, uh, for example, you're making my mom making a beef dish, but she doesn't like red wine, let's say. Is there a good white wine that might go with a heavier meat type sure. dish? Sure, sure. I think Chardonnay works for that. Okay. So sometimes Chardonnays are aged in a little bit of oak, and that oak sort of helps beef up the wine, as it were. Pardon the silly pun, but the <laughs> beefing that up a little yeah. bit helps it go with a fuller, stronger flavor. I love a nice full-bodied Chardonnay with a with a piece of of roast beef is really delicious. So now, what about some of the sweeter wines? Like I've gotten into Moscato lately. That's oh, more yum. of a summer type thing, but um, I like it any time of the year. But are, are sweet wines something that you would serve with a? a dinner course? Absolutely you can. So sweet wines, uh, Moscato d'Asti is lovely. It's light, it's floral, it's fruity. It's not crazy sweet. It's just sweet enough to remind you that we like sweet things. So it's lovely with fruit. It's really great as an aperitif. It'd be great with all these yummy things oh, right yeah. here. Riesling is also a lovely one uh, that comes in a wide range of dry to sweet, but it's always just right because it's refreshing with food. So don't be afraid of the sweet ones because they taste pretty good all the way across the board. Oh yeah. So now if we're wanting to, you know, get really specific and uh, say I wanted to go into like a wine shop and ask somebody, are there things that I should know about the meal in particular, like certain flavors are going to be coming out? What certain wine should I pair with it? That type of thing. Or am I getting too specific? You know, you can overthink it really okay. easily. Uh, but if you have a trusted wine merchant that you like to go to, you can ask them whatever you like. So this is what I'm having. And a lot of times it's more about the sauce than it is about what the protein is. But you can always tell them. But it's more importantly to tell them what you like. Okay. So if you can give them an example of something you like, they can generally guide you in the right direction to make the perfect pairing for you. Great idea. And why not take a white and a red? I would do right. both. And they don't have to be expensive either to be good. No, they sure don't. Okay. No. Uh, well, the Cincinnati Inter Inter International Wine Festival is coming back in the spring. Yes. So tell us quickly when that is and how we can find out more and get tickets. Fantastic. It's March 3rd through the 5th this year. We're so delighted in 2022 to be able to bring it back. And the, the tickets will go on sale in January. But you can find out more information at, at winefestival.com. It's a nice, easy website yeah. to remember. And looking forward to, to seeing everyone again live and in person with all the wineries from around the world yeah. uh, coming to raise a glass for local charities. Well, it so. really is a wonderful event. And, it is. And it uh, gives back. It too. does. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a great holiday season thank you. to you.